Alright guys, I got that part 5, 4.12 God Deer Jungle My Way. It's a little bit different than before. Um, this is more of a stall out game, you know, controlling a game, uh, trying to get the, you know, the 1k stacks, uh, the dream on the cane. Um, you'll see search has flying top and you'll see a lot of, a lot of stuff, you know, that could have been done, but I just keep it focused more on me and not really the game. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, um, and later. Alright baby, we back once a motherfucking again. I got that goddamn 4.12 uh, in the jungle uh, my way. I know I fucked all that up right there, what I just said. Uh, it's supposed to be 4.12 goddamn jungle my way because I'm bad like that. Um, but we're going to get this shit started. Now, this game, guys, you're going to learn the way of the thousand stacks. Um, this game was off uh, on my break. I, I just rolled in uh, search as room. I was like, yo, let's, uh, uh, let's play a game. I want to open the gates. I see on your title you got a thousand stacks. Stack arenas. Um, I want to get you those a thousand, a thousand stacks and show you guys the ways when you play the cane deer and you uh, you open the gates with your partner. But one thing uh, you'll see this game <clears throat> if you watch this game on Search as a stream is that the uh, the Caitlyn, uh, the Caitlyn. I didn't even know who the what the fuck was going on. Did not know about the deer, the cane deer. But here, this is what I want to show you guys. Um, uh, we saw there was a ward right here. Now, when you when you play God Deer and you play against smarter people, or if you play somebody, well, let's just say smart people, uh, and you see how I put a ward right here. The reason why I put that ward right there and I go late and I run back to my blue, because nobody's going to protect their shit. If nobody is going to protect their shit, search as too busy getting his cappuccino, uh, which is uh, our cappuccino, which is, is fine with me. So I put a ward right there. Now, watch and learn, guys. Boom. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and farm it up. Oh shit, J4 is going for a shit. Oh, thank you, Fizz. And the AD carries mid for some reason. I guess they didn't want to go against the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. I I, I I don't know. But see, right here they stop him from getting red buff. Me having vision on J4 and seeing that he's not gonna get my red buff, I'm gonna come in to his jungle, take his shit, and all I'm gonna do is look at the lanes. Oh, bot lanes pushing. Okay, I see these two here. I'm gonna look at mid lane. I saw Graves there, so. Uh, J4 must be around here, rolling all the way down. Probably doesn't want to cut through mid, because if he cuts through mid, he gives me vision, and he shows me where he's at. And boom. I was thinking about taking the blue wraith, but I wanted to play a little bit safe. You see uh, aggression coming out from, uh, in the mid lane, coming out, you know, with, with Graves. And look at this. Bear stance decided to get it. We're going to drop the tiger, get ahead of him. If he decides to flash, too late. I'm going to let him finish him off. So Fizzarino is going to go ahead and farm that. I'm going to go back into my jungle, drop a ward on my red buff so I know if it's still there. And guess what? It is still there. Right, so I got a free red and my red, uh, a free red from J4, and I'm going to get stacked. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Uh, next step, uh, what I do is I'm going to tell Fizzarino to drop a ward. I, I tell him I need him to drop a ward. I'm going to look at my gold, my bank, uh, 960. Uh, so boom, we pick that up. Uh, come over here. I don't know if this gives me a close to 100. So, yeah, right here. So, I tell him to drop a ward. If you got a ward, go ward it. So, right here, you see him. He's going to drop. Boom. Slap, dab. Just like that. And what am I going to do? I'm going to pour it in. Take that. I think I waited and actually bought a pot. So, I did buy a pot. So, I had a little bit of time, which was fine. And I'm going to look. Guys, it's very important that you look at the lanes. Don't be like this, like zoomed in, not looking at your minimap. Look at your minimap. Look at the movements. If this is warded... You'll see someone like on the minimap trying to slip through if you don't want to watch the lane itself because you're too busy focusing on dragon. So always keep your eyes on on that uh, on that minimap. In the lower division, the more easier you know it is to get a freaking five minute dragon. If you get a five minute dragon, boom, you get a head start. If somebody's losing, guess what? They get a little bit of gold. So boom, that helps the cane. And I'm focused on on myself this game. Like like if if we're winning, you know I kind of want to even it out. You know there was one point when Caitlyn was pinging the Baron like 600 times. Like yo, give it to the enemy team. I wanted to give it to the enemy team I'm a nice guy like that you know um, just wanted to make it fair and make it close I love those epicness games I understand that you know um, uh, you should probably pick those things up to make the games a lot easier but you know with the cane deer the epicness it's, it's got to end the way it's got to end and if you don't understand that you must learn the ways and that's just part of the game I can give a fuck what anybody says it's my style and we'll do it like that we're talking about cane points we're talking about flare stacks we're talking about or, or flare points if you want to call that. So, you know, over here, I'm going to drop the ward, start from the top side, work my way bot. Looks like everything's under control right now. We're winning. I kind of want somebody to start feeding. I look at top lane, the disrespect coming out. So he drops the spear fire. Let's see, he's going to let the cane rain down. So what we want to do here, 
Drop the stun. Throw it in Tiger first. And I'm going to run ahead just in case he tries to leap strike. But there's the ghost too. So he's with me. So we're over here. The reason why we're over here is so that he doesn't try to go closer. So he tries to run over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stun him in the back. And I'm going to zoom in and watch the cane rain down right here, guys. The cane. Right there. Oh, my God. Look at that shit. <laughs> we talking about the cane. And it rains down plus six right there. Actually, um, hold on. Did, did we pick up two kills? I don't. I think it was just one. Yeah, what am I talking about? Because I remember getting a double kill with him, and he getting, uh, uh he, he, he got a plus six. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, we go ahead and pick, uh, uh, uh we kill Jax. Uh, looks like bot lane dies. Boom, J4 shows bot. Don't really care. I'm looking around. Drop a ward. Uh, I picked up the first dragon. Dragon will be spawning soon. But what if, I, if I'm being pressured, my lanes are being pressured, I can't do it. Because if I don't have a pink, if I don't have a sweeper, then I can't. Uh, you know, do yeah, I can't contest. It's 11 minutes in. Almost got my flare completed. Waiting for my rates to spawn, and I'm gonna pick this up. Uh, so there you go. Boom. Flare has been completed. I'm looking around. I see. I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Uh, uh. Uh, start my phage. I got the flare clear. Like I said, you know, 11 minutes. That's that's really good. Especially running teleport. You survive zero zero two. Um, when you survive and you have teleport, you can just pretty much have the state of mind that you have ghosts in the game, but it's just on CDR. But you have teleport, so that makes you play a little bit smarter. You know, if you do stupid shit, guess what? You're gonna probably die if you walk into CC if you don't have mercs and all that stuff. So, not buying mercs. Uh, I have to play safe, even though I, I gotta just gotta know when to go in and out. Uh, Graves dies. I think I told what do you call it, but I don't really care about that. Just want to show you just what's going through my head. Like, you know, I, I didn't care what was going on. You know, at this point we're winning. I kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna do my own thing. I'm just gonna make sure the king gets a thousand points. Chris did play more of a team player, even though he said that he wanted a thousand stacks, or that's what his, his stream title said. So, you know, I was like, um, yo, get stacks, just get stacks. Only use tele teleport for yourself and blah blah blah. Lanes are open, Fizz is farming, boom, and they fucked up here. As soon as I seen Fizz and Reno come over, I was like, yeah, okay, bitches. So everything's on cooldown, right, guys? You too, where are you going? What? Boom, Fizz and Reno comes in, pings me back in. I'm like, okay, I can tank this damage. I can walk through, Fizz slides right through. There's one kill. Boom, gonna get this kill. Guess what? This can give me a stack. And, of course, when you talk about map awareness, we're talking about diamond needle map awareness, guys. Um, d just remember one thing. Um, you know, it's at all lethal, so... Yeah, I, I I was like, yo, yo, hey Fizz, man, are we on the same team? Fizz. Okay, so uh, I guess we're not on the same team. But you know, like I said, you know, you, you know, you gotta be focused, man. When you're trying to take your game to the next level, you never know that mistake could cost the game. But you know, I'm glad I died there. Why? Because like I said, you know, I want this game to be a little bit closer. We look at the cane right now. He's he's only got 250. He's only a fourth away. Uh, from getting that 1k stack. So we're going to go ahead and wait and see when I spawn. I do spawn hero. I'm going to pour right in into the, to that tower. Get the CDR cooldown. Boom. Got distortion. So every three minutes I got my teleport. Voila. Boom. More stacks. Tell Caitlyn fuck off. That's my shit. Oh, guess what? They got timers now on the what do you call it? I was looking around. No, his red's about to spawn. Nope. I look around. Boom. See an opportunity to get some kills. Get exhausted, throw it in turtle, boom. I think I split it up. Usually I just leave one point in turtle, but as you can see, I put an extra point because I felt like I was going to be taking a little bit of extra damage. Uh, so, yeah. So coming over here, boom, going to pick the uh, the Wraith camp up. Let's see, help him push this out. No, that's our support right there, so I need to go ahead and take that form. Get that gold, pick up white camp, pick up this camp. 18 stacks, 18 minutes in the game. So that means I've done a lot of stacks. J4 top, pick up a dragon. Another stack, 20 stacks, boom, look at rise. Not today, motherfucker, not today. As you can see, I probably should have farmed that uh, that caddy minion, but it's all good. I should have smited. Oh, no, I didn't have to smite. But there you go. Swap, lay the bitch to the back, uh, just like that. Um, now we're good. Uh, we're looking around. I'm not that tanky, but I have mercs. Like I said, you know, it's all about knowing when to go in and out. I can make a mistake, slide into a fight, die, and end up throwing, and then playing the, the late game back door. And that's what it's all about. Remember that. It's never over. But, you know, the less knowledge you have about the game, the harder it's going to be. But, you know, as long as you put pressure and you make these mistakes, and like I said, you have shit being pressured, or, you know, whenever you make these mistakes, they don't get anything out of it, then it's all good. It always keeps you in the game. So now you see me. What is this going to do? Is this going to bring somebody bot? We see Graves. We see we see the rest and we saw graves go over that ward right there so that keep, that's keeping them down there and if i click on 
the cane. He's got 380 right now, so we're nowhere near that. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, this is I, I did an AMA on Chris's chat, and I, I just AFK'd uh, to give the uh, enemy time uh, time to catch back up. So yeah, AMA time, blah blah blah. I was asking the yes about, and they were asking about when I'm coming back, this and that. Um, low life, voila, go bot, farm that, look around, see bitches about to climb. I think I die here. No, Fizzerino, I think didn't man up when the next. Oh my god, the damage is so here. Hesitation coming out, didn't see rise, so that's my bad. I saw him when he came over here. Fizzerino back pinging, but it's a little bit too late. I get hooked in, and I'm gonna die again. And voila, but I got the flash out of rise, so that's definitely worth. And the cane right now is pushing top. Rise goes top, boom. Looks like they meet up, and he dies. But guess what? I put onto the blue buff, take the blue buff. And Fizzerino goes bot, dragon is up. I said let them have dragon. I really did let say let them have dragon. I pick up that red buff, look at him, say what's up, boom, come around the side. So yeah, like I said, I'm more tunneled. It's pointless trying to watch what my team's doing. Because the way I was playing, I could have ended this game about 10 minutes ago. But like I said, the dream. It's all about the dream, guys. If you don't have a dream, then what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Uh, so I look around, as you can see I'm running through the base, I see Jax, I say what's up, I get stunned, I get stunned again, I walk in, I get stunned again. So yeah, I give up a double buff, you know, I'm happy to give out double buffs, we're going to go ahead and speed this up. Um, so I spawn, boom, I'm around running through shit. Got to stall the game out for another, you know, 10 plus at least. Let's see, uh, what do you call it, trying to take my red buff, I say let me have that. Uh, so here I'm just like, um, I don't think you guys want to try to fuck. I, I just had a feeling. I'm kind of like fishing right now. I'm like, you know, I got the, my bait is uh, the cane. Cane's over there chilling. Uh, walks through, throw it in Tiger first. Death Mark gets popped. And Zed, uh, I mean, the rest decides to walk through. There's J4, shows back up. Gonna drop that uh, plane. Can't hit him. Boom. One, two. We look around. One, two. Light up at J4, like my bad man. I didn't mean to fuck with you. Caitlyn's paying me to go on him, and looks like he's running for his life. And there's the teleport bot lane to Fizzarino. And as you can see, I'm still chasing. This is the god here. This is the, the true meaning. You see how I just run? I know he's gonna get, have his combo up soon. Just stay on him, just like that. And boom. I ping him Baron. No, I don't have time for Baron. I'm just running through, looking to see if I got some red buffs. Um, go ahead and pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. More stacks, 39 on deck, 30 minutes in. Look at bot lane. Bot inhibit has just been taken out, just what we needed. Uh, and like I said, just gonna put that pressure. Uh, we're gonna click on the Kane Arena right now and see how many stacks he's working with. He's at 650 right now, so we got a little bit. Let's see Rise. What's up, Rise? Boom. Slam. Jax almost kills me here, but as you can see, he gets stunned across the mouth. Turtle stance, dip set, and run around, see a rep up, pick the rep up, bamp up a little bit. I wanted that uh, that double goal on pretty bad, but I didn't get it. Uh, Zed's down here with me. Caitlyn still wants that Baron buff. I swear to God, Caitlyn had it. She was clueless. Really wanted that Baron. All right, so Banshees, voila. Uh, teleport is up. I don't know if I use my teleport a lot, but Dragon's up again, but I said that you can let them have that. I don't want it. There's nobody on the map right now, so it's kind of stupid to fight this guy. Oh, my bad. There, that's so, right here, now you, you ask yourself, this is the life. When you play the god, it takes about five uh, new champions to take you out, just like that. Uh, they can't do that. They are pinging in. We don't even have a mid in Hib, so... Just gonna look around. I spawn back up. Frozen Heart, Triforce, um, Banshee. I like I like uh, Frozen Heart. The reason why is because of the mana plus CDR plus being able to spam more abilities and it being all the way down to like I think it's like 4.2 though with uh, just 30%. So I run 10% on my masteries and got 20 from that. So unless I have blue buff, it'll drop down to 3.6 I think. All right, the cane's pushing bot. I'm just stacking up 48 stacks, looking around. So we finally decided to go ahead and pick this up. I smited real early, if you watch. The reason why I smited early, guys, is to give the enemy a chance to get this. So I smited right there. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Your chance right here. He almost gets it. Good try, though. And I say, later, bitches. And I dip set. And looks like I'm going to go ahead and push mid. Look around. See a rep up in my future. Pick that up. Stacks on the, on the deer. Looks like we got about 49. We're looking around. We're going to go ahead and port him back. Uh, Telly is up. Yes, indeed it is. 
So back, we see red buff, boom, 50 stacks, living the dream, boom, come around the side, flame that, flame, uh, yeah, this is, uh, some fast hardcore mode right here. So, alright, so, you see what I've done? Now, this is what, like, you guys do. I'm gonna tell you the truth, this is kind of what you guys do in the lower elos. You know, you, you get the farm, you get this, you get, you, you, uh, you should be pushing that. This game should already be over, but like I said, it's about the thousand stacks. But, you know, this is, you know, whenever you win games like this, or if you're, if you, if lane, laning phase is over, this is when you start split pushing. So we look, he's got 910 right now, nine, 900 plus. We look around, boom, I'm going to look, uh, probably push mid, make sure to keep mid push. Kaylin's doing dragon, didn't want dragon. I picked up a GA, GA, I already got a full build, I think. Did I pick up a GA? No. I think that's my next item. Alright, so my bad. I didn't pick up nothing. I think I've been full this whole time. Probably sell something and buy a GA now. Yeah, so I buy a GA. It just it looks good having the Banshees. Just gonna make it harder on him. Just in case I make a mistake, uh, I'll have that. I don't wanna, the reason why I don't stay on him, even though I'm not taking any damage, is because I don't wanna get low and I have to come back out. Because his base is right there. He heals up, voila. And what if I get Goon Squatted, but I can look at my mini-map, but that's pretty much it. Let's look at the cane right now. The cane's already at a thousand right now, guys. I repeat, a thousand. So if we take a look, the cane uh, has 1,017. So let's take a look at what happened on it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, the cane rolling up right now. Alright, Vizzerino shows up. Okay, he, he's gonna make it rain down. His build though, let's see. The last whisper tried for us. Oh, he goes in, goes in. Oh my god, rip. I don't even wanna look at this. Oh my god. Alright, so just like that. And after that, Jax has a choice and voila. So yeah, guys, like I said, you know, when you play this deer, if you don't have somebody you can depend on or you're not, you don't have a goal uh, for the dream, don't do what I just did here. Learn how to finish games. Learn different parts of the game. There's going to be games when you when you get 50 stacks, 80 stacks, and you think you're a god because you know every lane went even or they won. You have to learn. You have to learn. You know the game. You know when when top and mid lose, what are you supposed to do? You know, and hopefully, you know I get to those questions. I hope I put a lot of that information out. I know I did one uh, last game of what happened when bot lane uh, lost and you know what to do. But you know I don't like doing a. Uh, um, I don't know. Hold on. What don't I like? <laughs> Answer. I don't know. You know, when you ask questions, I think you know it's all about you know. I like giving answers. I you know if you guys ask questions, like in videos, what do you do here? I hope I answer your questions in some of these videos you watch. The reason why is because you know every game is different. You never know what's gonna happen. You know every champion's gonna be different most of the time. You know with matchups, blah blah blah. You don't know who you're gonna play against. You don't know who's gonna be fed. You don't know what you're gonna have to do. Focus. You know, it's just so much shit, but I hope I get to your questions, guys. Sometimes I know I don't answer every single question, but I'm going to be back screaming once a motherfucking again. Well, I probably am since this is part five and part three and four uh, got to come out first. And this one will come out after those. And if you uh, watch those, you will bet your deer has gotten a little bit better, I hope. Um, especially you, Benjamin. I'm looking out for you. So, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, thousand stacks, the dream. Don't ever do it. Caitlin had no clue. I apologize to you, Caitlin. It was fun playing with you, and I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Later. Let's just watch the end. Oh, shit. The deer coming in. As you can see, I drop a ward. We got five people trying to contest the Baroons. I don't think you're supposed to contest Baroon when you got the cane deer. And as you can see, it rains down, people. Just like that. Jax Reno coming in. Spearfire being dropped just for the show. It looked like a nice little dance floor. Voila. Boom. And there you go. So the cane gotta finish this off. Oh, the disrespect coming out. <laughs> Boom! Later, bitches. Oh, he's gonna rain down. Oh. Just like that. Just remember, guys, man. Remember. Pressure. And understand. Read shit, man. And what I mean by read is look at who's losing and don't rage. Keep focus. Protect your buffs. Keep pressure on the map. Keep mid up as long as possible. If mid fails, look to see what else you can do. Clean up farm that, you know, uh, is left over to the turret. You know, cover lanes, blah, blah, blah. There's just so much stuff. But I got a lot of stuff in store for 2014 for the rest of the year. So uh, stay tuned. Like.